Now let's move over to the to the to the, the Kirkkey maintenance bypass. And uh, these breakers, you would never you'd never be touching these at all here. None of these be operated. They're automatic. And if either of these shut off, call us. Yeah, there's a problem. Yes. Because that's happened once already, and it's kind of confusing to go through. So let us do it. We've been there. So. We've already we've already had a. a an oops during uh, after the load bank test and these guys were tripped it was shut down improperly so we had to come out and reset it it's quite an evolved procedure you should you should emphasis on should never have to operate these manually it should be automatic Mainly via just no via the the, uh, the, now, the pad up there with these you may have to charge pretty simple just kind of crank them down yeah sure you guys have done that before but you shouldn't have to yeah. now the, the wraparound maintenance bypass is basically these two breakers here. When you put this system into bypass via the control panel, this light will come on. You follow these instructions. Although you guys should never have to do this. If it gets that bad, we'll be doing it. Yeah, we'll be operating it because there's something drastically wrong. Something's going on. and. The system isn't working up properly anyway, and you're probably down now. So if you need to move over here to do a repair, then that would be us. Now, if you guys got a complete failure, everything completely shut down, you got no lights over here, feel free to just try and close the breaker. <laughs> Get but your power back. That, that's why I'd recommend a good one line in here of input power, output power, and where breakers are, because you could have one module offline simply because the input breaker somewhere upstream trip for some reason and you need to close that breaker bring it on the technician needs to know yeah. where that is or facility needs to know where to direct them go close that breaker where all the are. right so that's something that you need to put down my one line that i provide you guys that block diagram you can label that where the input breakers are it's up upstairs in a room just west of here so yeah, those are the things that you, right so those are things we need to let you know on, on this wall here as far as a diagram of what's what and where the breakers are to feed this room. That'd be helpful. Just as a, in case of an emergency. So this will never be operated unless you're, you're down and you can't get these things back up. That's the last ditch effort. Let's put them on commercial power and figure out what's going on. It operates, we know it functions, and it never gets operated unless that UPS system, this, this system's in bypass and this light is lit. Other than that, you never have to touch it. So the system is pretty well automatic. There's not a whole lot of things you need to do. And let's go through this real quick as far as maintenance. Troubleshooting. Um, we we kind of went through the importance of looking at the alarm, getting familiar with the menus so you can see what's going on and give us the information. Inspection procedures. You want to probably daily inspect this unit at the same time, whatever time in the morning you can buy. Someone walks the room verifies that everything in here is good, the temperature is great. Uh, recording log, write down both modules, input voltages, currents, and this guy's output KW. If that's changing drastically, there's something going on. Someone added load to this for some reason, verify what's going on. And then air filters on both UPSs. Depends on the unit. Once they seal this floor in here, monthly maybe. Yeah, monthly maybe. If these doors aren't sealed well, then, then you're going to have more of a filter issue. So look at them, see what's going on, and then come up with your own realistic schedule as far as training, replacing. Repairs should be performed by trained personnel only. You know, you got 480 volts. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. So if, if there's a repair, it'll be done by somebody like us that, that's trained on the facility. Emergency, we have our numbers in here. Um, if you have a technical question, you've got something you don't understand. And all of you got my card, it's got my cell number. 7 by 24, we're available. After hours, you'll be instructed to press 9 if it's an emergency, and your, your, your question will be answered. Okay? Other than that, if there's no other questions, um, let's go into the, let's just open the door of the battery room and look in there so we can kind of see what the batteries look like. We're not going to be training on the batteries, but it's good to know what's in there. 